In an article published earlier this month on the U.S. portal Substack, Pulitzer Prize winner Seymour Hersh revealed how the U.S. partnered with Norway in a top-secret operation in June 2022 to plant remotely triggered explosives that took out three of the four Nord Stream pipelines three months later. In response, Washington has repeatedly denied the accusation, while the majority of Europe remains secretive. Denmark, Germany, and Sweden were investigating the destruction, but all remain tight-lipped over who blew holes in the pipelines. Many scholars hold a favorable view of Hirsch's report and believe that the U.S. strategic and economic motives are behind the curtain. Only a handful of state-level actors have both the technical capacity and access to the Baltic Sea to have carried out this action. Ukraine lacks the necessary technologies as well as access to the Baltic Sea. A recent report by the Washington Post revealed that the intelligence agencies of the NATO countries have privately concluded that there is no evidence whatsoever that Russia carried out this action. Indeed, Russia is likely to bear considerable expenses to repair the pipelines. Evident que la destruction de Nord Stream 1 et de Nord Stream 2. Profite aux États-Unis puisque avec l'explosion, ça rend tout à fait compétitif le gaz de schiste liquéfié euh, américain euh, qui peut du coup être exporté euh, en Europe et enlever la mainmise euh, énergétique de la Russie et permettre à, aux États-Unis de récupérer une forme de. The Nord Stream pipelines, of course, were blown up by the U.S. and NATO allies, and now a U.S. economic war. Is conducted against the submissive allies in Europe. Seymour Hersh's fine analysis tells how the destruction was planned and done, but the conclusion is unsurprising. The U.S., with very important Norwegian assistance, committed the crime against a friendly allied country, Germany, and other European countries. Això cada vegada em porta més a pensar eh, que l'acció que es, que es va portar a terme amb el, amb el trencament d'aquest gasioducte eh, ha estat resultat directament d'una, d'una, acció, d'una acció per part dels Estats Units, perquè sobretot amb això els Estats Units aconsegueix dos elements claus. El, el primer element és el fet de eh, trencar la dependència alemanya respecte al gas rus Per tant, indiscutiblement, aquí hi ha un benefici econòmic molt clar per Estats Units i alhora també hi ha un enfortiment del, del, de la seva influència geopolítica sobre Alemanya. Per tant, vista aquesta dimensió internacional de la guerra, cada vegada estic més convençut que, que ha sigut una acció per part d'Estats Units. On September 26, 2022, a series of clandestine bombings and subsequent underwater gas leaks occurred on the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipelines, which carry gas from Russia to Europe. Washington and a few European countries rushed to accuse Russia of the incident. But the chilling details exposed in Hearst's report have aroused concerns among the international community. More people are urging an objective, fair and professional probe into the incident and a speed-up exercise in truth-telling. Uh, it is a good motive for America to blow up that pipeline to prevent Germany from getting oil. Um, if the United States got caught blowing it up, they would lose uh, a lot of support in Western Europe. 